What's up guys? Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're back with an exciting video today. Yes, we are here with the all new Unicore Balance Optics Mat. I'm going to show you a close up at this in just a second, but my Studio is obviously lit up like a Christmas tree once again, and I wanted to first off make sure you guys understand how this new system works. So it is a requirement that you do have the swing optics system, so the camera system from Unicore. It kind of all works together. Then you can actually add the balance optics mat, and then that's going to give you the full package. Now, during the time I record this video, when this thing is launching October 9th, they are actually going to be offering some various promotions. So feel free to reach out to me, send me an email, I'll pin it to the top of the comments and put it in the description. I can kind of break those all down for you with one of my partners. They'd be happy to go over all the details with you. But I want to make sure everyone understands that this is kind of a package system. And once you see what I'm going to show you today, I think you'll understand why. So let's take a quick look at this up close. So. A uh, few things that I like about the design that they went with with this mat. I mean, one, it's a very simple system. So, I mean, all you have going on here is, is the mat itself. And then you basically have Ethernet plugging in along with power. So they are going to include a Ethernet cord for you. They're going to include a power cord for you. And they're going to include an Ethernet dongle that can go right into a USB. Um, so it's very simple connectivity. And then the other thing that I like is that not only is the mat Thin, so you're not going to be standing way above your stance mat laying this down, but it also has this like replaceable carpet on top. So let's say that you're just a coach and you're doing a ton of work on the balance mat and you need to replace this. Well, guess what? This is just a replaceable carpet mat right on the top. Now, do I really think many people are going to be wearing this out? Uh, no. I mean, I think that it's going to be pretty durable overall, but it also, you know, just makes it peace of mind so you know that it's pretty simple now basically what i'm doing is is i'm just running my cords off to the side it's not like i'm going to have my balance mat down all the time this would be specific for when i'm doing you know work with a coach or maybe i'm looking to you know maybe take a look at myself maybe send off to my coach using the power u cloud i like that feature but there are a few things you can do you could actually take those cords and just run them right under your turf for a more permanent look if you wanted to you could also just unplug them and move your uh, mat off to the side and just leave the two cords tucked under your turf so some options there i want to get right in we're going to hit a swing and i'm going to show you guys all these features i just want to switch over to uh, my screen recording so you have a, a perfect look at the view software all right guys so this is a much better view so you can see inside the GSV studio with my camera, but then at the same time, we're doing a swing recording of the view software so I can show you all these different various options in detail. First thing I wanna show you is the different options you have just looking at your setup with this balance mat, which is really cool. So over on the left-hand side, you'll see the selection here of swing. We're gonna select that and it's gonna look a little different than what you're used to. So up in the top, you see the feet and the bars. I can actually turn these options off, but once you have your balance mat, you're actually going to turn that on and you're gonna see these bars set up and you can set them up however you like. So I can drag these around. If I want them right here, if I want them switched around, I can put them wherever I want. So I love that this is customizable to your liking and it remembers what you used last. Then you have your heat map right here that also can be moved around. It can be you know, made smaller or larger whatever your you know, preferred size is. Um, you know, I'll make it a little bit bigger for you guys, like maybe that size right there. I think that'd be good. And then you can rotate it, whether it's right or left, um, whatever it may be. So I'm gonna step on the mat really quick, show this thing live in action. Make sure that your mat, when you lay it down, is set up to your target line. Um, after you make some swings, it, it could even move. Just make sure that that's aligned. But notice now I have a live view of my heat map and then my bars. So a lot of coaches are going to tell you, you're going to want to be setting up 50-50. You could actually be hitting swings instead of on the range right here. So you could be looking up and saying, okay, that's where I want to be. Now notice the green line that connects the right foot and left foot. Let's say I'm setting up for a little bit of a fade. You'll notice that green line now is going off to the left foot because it's measuring from the center point of your heel and toe of your left and right foot. Love that it does that. And then at the same time, I could just maybe work on my, you know, if I'm too far on the right, too far on the left, it's easy to see on the bars with that 50-50, but it actually goes even further than this because, check this out, if you go right here to uh, the pop-out, uh, so I'm actually covering it right now, but you guys have seen this before, I can actually just take it down real quick. So if I take this down, this little pop-out button right here, all right, so if you pop out a screen, 
it will load a screen. Now, I'm gonna select this little golfer guy and check out what this does. So this actually, and you know, I should turn my camera back on so you guys can actually see what I'm doing inside the studio when I do this. So we'll turn that camera back on. I'm gonna get on the mat and look at this. I actually have a supersized view of that heat map with all four percentage points from the center. So it's really nice to see what's going on towards the front, what's going on towards the back, right or left. And that crosshair really kind of gives you an easy view of that 50-50 balance stance. At the same time, your green line is bigger, so it's easy to see your setup, whether you're kind of setting up for a draw or maybe a fade or just trying to keep it straight. You can throw this up on your third monitor. I have a big TV and just have this live view to glance up at. Um, coach could be looking at it on another screen, whatever it may be. So that, that's a really cool view that I wanted to show a lot of people, all right? Um, and you can rotate it. If you look in the upper right here, that's for, you know, right uh, or left-handed player. So you can switch it around, just flips your uh, heels and toes to the opposite. And then from this point, I think we're ready to take a shot for you guys and show you even more features that this offers. Um, wait until you see some of the things you can do. I have a seven iron in hand on purpose. Like I said, just make sure, I did a pretty good job when I th threw this thing down, but I just like it making sure it's aligned to my target. That way when I'm looking at my trace, I'll show you here in a second, you want to make sure that it's aligned to your target, all right? So I'm going to try to hit a little seven iron. This is like a 165 to 170 club usually. You know, I'm going to hit one more because that just wasn't that great. I hit it just a little thin, kind of a little open face. We're going to get a better example than that. Let's do one more. That one was maybe just a little bit behind the ball. Not a bad shot though. Let's see what kind of carry I get out of it. Yeah, 171. I mean, it was a pretty good shot. Let's see if I can get one more clean. I would hope to get that spin up, you know, 6,000 or so if I'm catching it nice and clean. We'll have some good examples to show you. That was a good swing there. There's 6,000. It's going to have good carry. That's kind of my normal draw if I'm not really working on hitting it straight. 173 carry, really good for my 7-iron. And now I'm going to have a great example for you guys. So let's go over here. And what we're going to pull up first is that swing view that I was showing you guys. And then up here, you're going to see where it says replay. I'm going to go ahead and select replay. Check this out. So here's all that data live. I can even see my balance right now, you know, uh, pre-takeaway. So here I am. You know, at setup, where am I at? Well, I can see that I was actually a little more on my right foot than my left. All right, now, toes and heels, not so bad. You know, um, I do set up with my left foot a little bit open because I tend to kind of overdraw the ball sometimes. I have a very tough time clearing my hips uh, due to flexibility issues. And now I get to see my takeaway where that balance is going all the way through. And then you see that line? That's actually impact. It shows the actual moment of impact with that dot. See that dot on your uh, trace? It, that green dot is reaching the orange dot right here. That's at impact. So I'm gonna go right to impact right here. Love how it grabbed that frame. You know, these cameras have good frames per second. So most of the time you're gonna have that impact of the actual club hitting the ball, all right? So there's my moment of impact. I can see where I'm at, where my weight shift was. And then all the way through, hoping to finish on that left heel, as you can see. Now, what if I'm an amateur and I don't have a swing coach over here kind of you know, showing me all this? Well, check out this compare button right here. See this right below swing? I'm gonna click that. Whoa, what do I have here? Well, let me show you how this works. So what I'm going to do, and I already was messing with this, is why you see something. Over here where you see shot, you're actually going to select which one you want in a viewport. All right, so that was my last shot right there. Now I want that in viewport A. All right, perfect. That's the shot. I'm going to go to Pro. All right, now you can see down here my carry was 173 in viewport A. So I want to go to a similar carry, let's say. Um, so that was 160, there's 170, and then 174. Wow, look how close that is. All right, and they have driver. You can see that they have uh, 
What do they have in here? Wedges as well. I mean, it's really cool the selection that they have. But this, look how close these numbers are. My carry and my total is really close with the Pro. So it's going to be great to see a comparison of numbers. Not only the data numbers like the launch, the ball speed, the club speed, the spin. See, I, my goal is to have that little bit higher spin. And you can see he was down mid five. So that's not that bad, really. Um, I had a little more of a draw than he had. So I had a left 736. He only had a, a left of uh, 420. But now let's look at this from the beginning. So how is he standing at address? Well, he's a little more, it looks like, on the front than I am. I'm pretty balanced, and he's kind of a little toe heavy. Now, is that where I want to be or not? Um, and you can see I'm 19 inches apart. He's 21 inches apart, so maybe a little more of a stable stance that he likes. I mean, check out this data that you have. It's incredible. Our traces actually look kind of similar. So I'm going to go through. We're going to go right through almost that takeaway. And you can see us both moving. It syncs these automatically. And why does it do that? Well, my IXO is linked to the cameras and everything and the balance mat. It all syncs together. And that's why it's syncing these videos because it knows where his impact was and where my impact was. And so you can even kind of get tempo out of this. So I can see during my backswing. So notice he's just a little bit kind of ahead of me. I'm a little bit slower backswing than him. And I can look right at the top. Both of our positions, our club positions are actually quite similar. Um, you can see right here is my club. There is my uh, shaft on a similar angle. We can look at our body and then you can see what starts first. Now, do I get my hips turning? That's where I struggle. He's got great club lag. Look at this. And I could even go right at impact here. There's impact. So it looks like my camera actually grabbed impact just a little bit better than his. Um, so that's just before that's right at impact and you can see his balls is taking off just a little bit. I love how his hands are out in front. Mine are not. So something I probably need to work on and I can get that right from this video. Um, now that we've seen all of that, we can look at our finish. Now let's look at the, the trace and the balance. So here we are. I can see these lines right here and I can also see my trace starting out. There we go, forward. Look how close that is. I'm actually really happy that I'm able to kind of mimic his path being at a pro level where I'm at. I can send this over to my pro uh, just using the uh, Power U Cloud, or I could even do a quick screen record and send this all over and say, hey, what do you think? Now let's just look at the full thing. I'm gonna change this to quarter as you can see there. I'm gonna rewind this, I'm gonna hit play. I want to watch this in full motion at quarter speed. How cool is that? Wow. I mean, it is just so cool to be able to compare swings like that. And then what I also want to show you guys is, is let's say we want to look down the line. Well, guess what? We have down the line. So all you got to do is right here where I hit cam two and cam two, now I want to compare back here. How's my address? What do I look like? Taking the club away. Where's the club face? So his looks like it's almost maybe a tiny bit closed at the takeaway. Mine looks similar, just maybe a tiny bit closed. Where are my hands? Where are his hands? Does he have more you know, wrist cock than I do? It sure looks like it. Look where his wrist is, bottom of his hand versus mine. It's just a little bit different. I'm also a lower swing plane. So I could actually go in here and I could draw a line right here. And let's just say this was the swing plane of, of myself. I'm coming back below that line. And then if I wanted to draw the same line on his, so we'll just kind of draw this line down here again. And let's see, see how he's above that line. I'm actually below. So I have more of a shallow takeaway and he has more of a upright takeaway, steep takeaway. How cool is that to compare the down the line too? And then let's just see where the, where we come. Now I come over, or, and I'm still under the line, and he actually comes under the line. So he's coming almost above at takeoff, or you know, just below. I'm coming way below. And then I'm kind of getting that plane back to the line, and he's actually coming right on the line. I mean, this is really powerful stuff. I encourage you guys, to use this as amateurs, but use it in combination with a PGA professional and use it in combination with comparing to pro swings. But I'll tell you what, 
just now getting used to the balance optics, uh, playing around with it here. I mean, talking about, you know, just a few hours. Um, it's officially on sale. I encourage you guys to take a look at it. I mean, also just shoot me an email. I'm happy to share any information or whatever. And I'm just starting to dive in. So I'm, I want you guys to comment below. Let me know what you want to see, what questions that you have. I'm just getting my feet wet with this. I plan on diving in a lot more. I'm excited about it. It's really, really cool stuff all kinds of data at your fingertips and the way that you can compare and everything like I'm showing you, it's exciting. I mean, it's, it's really, really great. And the way that it's all packaged into one, that's what I think is impressive is that I know I have my Unicore IXO currently. I have the view software that's included with that. I have my swing optics cameras, my balance optics mat, it's all in one system. I don't have a bunch of things going on. So it's just, you know, easy to use. You, I, I can have my wife come down here with all this set up, open up view, and she knows how to use it. I don't have to go through some crazy training on how to set it all up. Uh, you know, it's just plug and play essentially. Um, so uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure you shoot me an email, comment below any questions that you have, you know, what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear them. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. We'll have a lot more coming soon.